We've looked at the longitudinal center of buoyancy and the longitudinal center of gravity. Now there's another point that becomes very important in our calculations. When a ship pitches or rotates in the forward and aft direction, it's not rotating around either of these two points. Instead, it's rotating around a new point called the LCF, or the longitudinal center of flotation. Just like any lever or seesaw, the center of flotation is the fulcrum, or the pivot point around which the ship is rotating. The center of flotation is actually located at the center of the ship's water plane. In transverse stability, this point is usually so close to the center line that we didn't even consider it. But we know that the shape of the water plane changes as the ship sinks down into the water. Because of that, the center of flotation will shift forward and aft of midships, depending on the ship's displacement. This will affect our stability calculations. Now let's talk about trim. Remember that trim is simply the difference between the forward and aft drafts. In this case, 6.5 meters aft minus 3.5 meters forward equals 3 meters of trim. By the way, if you're calculating trim, always subtract the forward draft from the aft draft. This way, if your result is a positive number, the ship is trimmed by the stern, while negative numbers mean the ship is trimmed by the head. Now, what happens if you have a change of trim? If our ship experiences a change of trim, let's say 2 meters by the head, don't make the mistake of adjusting each draft by 2 meters. The change of trim is always shared between the two drafts. In this case, the change of trim is divided evenly so that each draft will change by 1 meter. The aft draft will be decreased by 1 meter while the forward draft will increase by one meter, giving us our new trim. But how the change of trim is split between the two drafts depends entirely on the position of the center of flotation. When the center of flotation is at midships and the ship trims, then the forward draft will change by exactly the same amount as the aft draft, and the mean draft will stay the same. The change of trim is shared equally between the two drafts because the ship is pivoting evenly around the exact midpoint of the vessel. But when the center of flotation is not at the midpoint of the vessel, then the situation becomes a little more complicated. Now, the same change of trim is not shared equally between the forward and aft drafts because the pivot point is not exactly between them. But fortunately, we can calculate these differences with some fairly straightforward geometry. Take this triangle. If you were to increase or decrease the length of one of its sides by a certain amount, as long as the angle stays the same, the other two sides are going to increase by an amount that is proportional to the first side. In other words, the proportions of this triangle stay the same. Now let's apply that same triangle to our ship. Imagine for a second that our center of flotation is all the way at the forward perpendicular. In this situation, if there was a change of trim, 100% of the change of trim is going to be applied to the aft draft. Now let's imagine that the center of flotation is only 60% of the way from the aft perpendicular to the forward perpendicular. In this case, only 60% of the change of trim is going to the aft draft. It's proportional to the distance from the aft perpendicular to the center of flotation. The other 40% is applied to the forward draft. So, when we have a change of trim, our formula to calculate the change to the aft draft is lowercase l, which is the distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular, divided by the length between perpendiculars. If you notice, all we've done here is calculate what percentage of the total length is the center of flotation located. After that, we multiply by the total change in trim to get the portion that will be applied to the aft draft.
to calculate the change to the draft forward, we could go through the same process again from the forward perpendicular. However, it's much easier to take the total change in trim and subtract the amount that was applied to the aft draft. Whenever you're doing anything involving draft and trim, most calculations will require an adjustment based on where the center of flotation is. Always keep this in mind and make the necessary corrections to arrive at the right answer.